Okay, good day everyone. We are now on the last part of chapter 1 and this is all about thin walled pressure vessel. So, ano nga ba yung tinatawag nating thin walled pressure vessel and bakit kailangan natin itong pag-aralan under mechanics of deformable bodies? Okay, so let me define first what is a thin walled pressure vessel. So, a thin walled pressure vessel, ito yung mga container na naglalaman ng mga liquid or gas okay, that is made up of uh, thin sheets of materials. So, natatawag lang na thin walled ang isang pressure vessel if it has a ratio of the radius with its thickness is greater than or equal to 10. Ayan. So, hindi pala basta-basta natatawag na thin walled ang isang pressure vessel if it is not uh, satisfying this condition in which the radius over the thickness must be greater than or equal to 10. So, ito yung mga tinatawag na thin wall pressure vessel. Okay, so, bakit natin kailangang i-design uh, yung mga thin wall pressure vessel? So, dito, meron akong example ng mga failures ng thin wall pressure vessel. Ayan. So, pag hindi na-design ng maayos yung ating mga pressure vessel, nagkakaroon ng failures on the walls. Okay? Doon sa paligid mismo ng uh, ating pressure vessel, nagkakaroon ngayon ng failure. Ayan. This is an example of a failure of a uh, thin wall pressure vessel. And also this one. Ito yung mga examples ng failure if the pressure vessel is not designed well. Kailangan nating uh, design ng maayos yung materials in order to resist yung pressure na meron sa loob. Okay? Kasi yung mga materials na to, mga materials ng ating mga pressure vessel must resist yung pressure na nasa loob. Okay, in order na hindi uh, mangyari itong mga to. So, we have two uh, shapes of vessel na i-discuss dito. We have the cylindrical vessel. So, this is an example of a cylindrical vessel. And of course, yung ating spherical uh, vessel. So, this is an example of spherical vessel vessel So we have two types of stresses na na-experience ng ating cylindrical vessel. So this is the tangential or circumferential stress and then the other one is the longitudinal stress. Okay, so dito muna tayo. Let's try to derive the equation for our tangential or circumferential stress. So derive natin tong formula na to. So we have here a cylindrical vessel for example, ayan. And then, it has a certain thickness and, of course, diameter. So, let us pass an exploratory line here or exploratory section. So, ang maging itsura niyan ngayon will be like this. Okay? So, nahati. So, nandito ngayon yung pressure coming from the liquid or gas na meron dito sa ating container. Okay. So, yan yung pressure. So, we know that our pressure is equal to force all over area then. Right? And then, in order for uh, this not to explode or hindi magkaroon ng failure, nire-resist siya ng force P coming from the uh, thin walled pressure vessel. So, meron nga yung ditong force P ayan, na nagre-resist ng pressure coming from the liquid or gas and it is represented by a resultant force P resultant force P here and of course we have here our force which is equal to the pressure multiplied by our area but the area na gagamitin natin dito is the area bounded by this one ta -ta -ta. So, gamitin natin dito. We have our F. 
So, the area is the diameter multiplied by the length. So, our F is equal to pressure diameter multiplied by the length. And then, if we look at this part, yung ating P, so, uh, we know that our stress is equal to, or yung tangential stress natin is equal to P all over A. Okay? So, yung tangential stress natin, we have P, ano yung area? So, area is this one. Ito, 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 ito. Which is equal to thickness multiplied by the length. Thickness multiplied by the length. Okay, so we have now P is equal to our tangential stress multiplied by the thickness multiplied by the length. So if we take the summation of forces vertical is equal to 0, meron tayong F is equal to 2P, diba? In which substitute natin yung equation 1 and equation 2 natin. So we have here pressure diameter length is equal to the circumferential st uh, tangential stress multiplied by the thickness multiplied by the length. So, cancel out yung length. Our tangential stress now is equal to our pressure multiplied by the diameter divided by uh, sorry, merong 2 dito. Okay. Divided by 2T. Kaya na derived tung formula na to. So, this is our formula for the tangential or circumferential stress. Okay, so, proceed naman tayo ngayon sa longitudinal stress natin. So, this is our longitudinal stress. Meron din ulit tayo ditong cylindrical vessel. So, if we will pass an exploratory line or section here. Ayan. So, ito yung magiging cross-sectional area din. Parehas din kung saan mo pinutol. Ganun din yung magiging itsura ng cross-sectional area. So, we will just use this one. Okay. So, yung pressure coming from the liquid or yung gas sa loob is represented by our force F. Ito yan, ito yan, ayan. So, yung pressure dito, nandito yung mga pressure, ayan, pressure. So, it is represented also by our pressure is equal to force all over area, ba? Okay, so yung ating force here, or yung ating area, so ano yung magiging area? So, ito, ito yung part na to. So, it is equal to pi d squared all over 4. Right? So, our F now is equal to pressure multiplied by pi d squared all over 4. And yung nagre-resist dito sa ating force is our P. So, yung P natin, so, kung papunta dun yung pressure natin, so, ito yung ating mga force P dito sa part na to. Ayan. So, nakakalat dyan sa circumference ng ating pressure vessel. And, lagyan natin ng resultant force P. Okay, so, ito na yan. Resultant force P. So, we know that our longitudinal stress is equal to P all over A as our general formula. So, our P now, ano yung area? So, ito yung magiging area. Ayan. Dito nag a kasi yung uh, force P to resist the pressure. So, ito yan, ayan. So, ilalatag natin ngayon yan. Puputulin natin itong ating uh, cylindrical tank and then ilalatag natin. Gagawin natin siyang rectangular. So, for example, pinutol mo dyan. So, ito yung magiging itsura. So, this is equal to the circumference multiplied by the thickness or yung ating pi d multiplied by the thickness. So, ito na ngayon yung area kung saan nag yung ating force p. So, it is equal to pi d multiplied by the thickness. So, our P now is equal to, ayan, stress multiplied by pi d t. So, if we take the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0, it is equal to F is equal to P. So, ano yung value ng F natin? So, we have rho pi d squared all over 4 and then yung ating P, we have stress pi d t. 
So, cancel out yung isang D. Ayan. So, we are left with our L. Also with our pi. Cancel out yung pi. So, our longitudinal stress is now equal to pi D T. I mean, pi D. Sorry. Pi D. Pi D divided by 4 T. So, ito na yung ating general equation for the longitudinal stress. So, this must be L. Pasensya na, this must be L. Okay. So, that's, uh, for, that's it for our cylindrical vessel. So, proceed naman tayo sa spherical vessel. So, ito yung ating spherical vessel. Sphere lang. Tura nyo is sphere. So, this so the spherical vessel, uh, same formula lang nung ating longitudinal stress. Kasi kahit saan mo ikat, as long as dadaan siya sa centroid, okay, dito mo ikat yan, ganun na rin na magiging itsura. Ganun yung magiging cross-sectional area. Okay, kung dito mo papadaanin, ganun din. Basta dapat dumaan siya sa centroid. So yung cross-sectional area would, would look like this one kung saan yung mga pressures na nakakalat dito and then of course ire-resist siya ng ating force T on the circumference of our vessel kaya kung titignan natin same rin yung magiging itsura cross sectional area kaya parehas lang yung equation ng ating longitudinal stress coming from the cylindrical vessel and of course sa ating spherical vessel so this would be our uh, formula. So, let's now proceed to our example. So, a cylindrical steel pressure vessel, 400 mm in diameter with a wall thickness of 20 mm is subjected to an internal pressure of 4.5 mega newton per square meter. So, for letter A, calculate the tangential and longitudinal stress in the steel. Letter B, to what value may the internal pressure be increased if the stress in the steel is limited to 120 mega newton per square meter? And if the internal pressure were increased until the vessel burst, sketch the type of fracture that would occur. So, meron daw tayong cylindrical steel pressure vessel. Cylindrical that has a diameter of 400 millimeter and then yung thickness daw is 20 millimeter and it has an internal pressure of 4.5 mega pascal or mega newton per square meter so for letter a Calculate the tangential and the longitudinal stress. Okay? So, the tangential muna tayo. We have our formula, the uh, internal pressure multiplied by the diameter divided by twice the thickness. So, meron tayong 4.5 megapascal or newton per square millimeter. The diameter is 400 millimeter. And then, 2, we have the thickness of 20 millimeter. So, cancel out, cancel out. Therefore, our uh, longitudinal or tangential stress is equal to 45 newton per square millimeter or 45 mega pascal. So, ito yung ating tangential stress. And then, for our longitudinal stress, we have the internal pressure multiplied by the diameter divided by 4T. Tama? So, we have 4.5 multiplied by 400 divided by 4 times 20. Therefore, we have 22.5 mega pascal. So, this is our longitudinal stress. Okay. So, for letter B. To what value may the internal pressure be increased if the stress in the steel is limited to 100 mega pascal? So, pinapahanap yung internal pressure. So, anong gagamitin natin ngayon dyan na formula? 
it is the formula for tangential or the uh, formula for longitudinal stress. So, ang gagamitin natin ngayon dyan is the formula for our tangential stress. Kasi, more critical, di ba? Uh, I-consider natin yung worst case scenario na mangyayari or the more critical one on which we have our stress is equal to okay, internal pressure multiplied by the diameter divided by 2t. So, this is the uh, more critical stress compared sa ating longitudinal stress. Okay, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, worst case scenario na tayo, okay? So, our stress daw is limited to 120 megapascal. So, the diameter is 400 divided by 2 times 20. Therefore, the internal pressure is equal to 12 megapascal. Okay, so for letter C, if the internal pressure were increased until the vessel burst, sketch the type of fracture that would occur. So, ang kinonsider natin dito, diba, is the uh, formula for the tangential stress kasi nga we are considering the worst case scenario or yung more critical one. Therefore, pag nag-increase tayo ng nag-increase ng pressure, the vessel will ver burst. Okay. So, ano yung fracture na mangyayari dito? Since we are, we consider the tangential formula, ang mangyayari ngayon na fracture is like this one. So, magkakaroon ng crack or ng fracture at this side or anywhere dito sa uh, perimeter or dito sa ating cylindrical vessel. Basta ganito yung maging itsura. So, pwede dito, pwede dito. So, anywhere on the circumference of our uh, cylindrical tank. So, ayan. For example, number 2. A cylindrical pressure vessel is fabricated from steel plating that has a thickness of 20 mm. The diameter of the pressure vessel is 450 mm and its length is 2 meters. Determine the maximum internal pressure that can be applied if the longitudinal stress is limited to 140 megapascal and the circumferential stress is limited to 60 megapascal. So pinapasolve dito yung internal uh, pressure. So the illustration is just like uh, our problem number one. So, sulat ko na lang yung given. So, we have a thickness of 20 millimeter. And the diameter of the pressure vessel is 450 millimeter. And it has a length of 2 meters or 2,000 millimeter. So, pinapahanap nga yung internal pressure. If it has a longitudinal stress, of 140 megapascal and a tangential or circumferential stress of 60 megapascal. So, gamitin natin muna yung longitudinal stress. So, we have our formula internal pressure multiplied by the diameter divided by 40. So, we have 140. Okay. The diameter is 450 divided by 4 thickness is 20 therefore the pressure here is 24.89 mega pascal and then for our tangential stress we have internal pressure uh, multiplied by the diameter divided by twice the thickness so meron tayong 60 is equal to pressure and then diameter natin is 450 all over twice uh, the thickness. Therefore, pressure here is equal to uh, 5.33 mega pascal. So, ano yung safest or maximum internal pressure na i-consider natin dito? So, we will be considering 5.33 mega pascal as the maximum internal pressure na pwedeng i-carry or pwedeng uh, ilagay sa ating 
cylindrical pressure vessel. Bakit? Kasi if we will uh, consider 24.89 megapascal, for sure magfe-fail na siya agad-agad sa tangential stress. Okay, sa tangential part. Kung i-apply natin yung 24.89, agad-agad may failure na on the tangential. And then, pag 5.33 naman, both siya na safe on uh, tangential part and then also in the longitudinal part. Kasi ito nga yung maximum ng ating longitudinal, di ba? And then, within the range pa rin naman yung 5.33. Kaya the maximum safest internal pressure na pwede nating i-apply sa ating uh, cylindrical pressure vessel is 5.33 mega pascal. So, let us proceed to example number 3. A water tank that is 22 feet in diameter is made from steel plates that are 1 half inch thick. Find the maximum height to which the tank may be filled if the circumferential stress is limited to 6,000 PSI. So, the specific weight of water is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So, meron daw tayong water tank that has a diameter of 22 feet. So, automatic na pag ganito yung usapan natin, internal diameter yung tinutukoy dito. Kasi hindi naman kailangan yung outside diameter. So, convert na natin yung 22 feet into inches para uniform later on. So, we have 12 inches in 1 foot. Therefore, this is equal to 264 inches. And then, meron daw siyang thickness na 1 half inch. So, pinapahanap ngayon yung maximum height if we have the circumferential stress of circumferential stress or tangential stress of 6,000 PSI. So, the specific weight of water is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So, kailangan natin i-convert din to. So, multiply lang natin yan ng 1 or over 12 raised to 3. So, meron tayong 0.03611 pounds per cubic inches. Okay. So, meron tayong general formula tungkol sa pressure on which yung ating pressure is equal to the unit weight of the material multiply by the height. Yan. And also, we know that pressure is also equal to force divided by the area. So, pag pinag-equate natin yan, meron tayong mapoform na equation. So, try natin magpas dito ng exploratory section. So, hatiin natin yan. So, papahigain ko yung ating vessel or yung ating container. So, ganito yung magiging itsura. Okay. So, nandito ngayon yung uh, pressure, internal pressure ng ating water. So, meron ngayon yung resultant. So, let's say this is force F. And then, nire-resist siya ng force P coming from the thin-walled vessel. So, this is P, this is P. So, the unit weight of water, meron tayong 0 0.03611. And then, height. So, yung F natin to. So, ano yung magiging area ngayon? So, the area is diameter multiplied by the height. Okay, so ito yung height. And then, this is the internal diameter. So, the diameter is 264 and then meron tayong H. Therefore, F is equal to 9.533H squared. So, meron na tayong equation number 1. And then, given naman yung ating circumferential stress, so pwede natin gamitin yan. So, the circumferential stress, gamitin natin yung general formula. So, we have the force P divided by the area. So, we have 6,000 PSI. Our P ito, P. 
So, ano yung magiging area perpendicular to P? We have the thickness multiplied by the height. DH. And yung thickness naman natin is 1 half. So, our P now is equal to 3000 H. Meron tayong equation number 2. So, tingin tayo dito sa illustration na to. So, if we take the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0. Okay, to the right positive. Therefore, we have F is equal to 2P. So, i-equate ngayon natin yung equation 1 and 2. Or, gagamitin natin yung equation 1 and 2. So, meron tayong F na 9.533H squared. And then, meron tayong P na 3000H. So, cancel out yung isang H. Therefore, our height is now equal to our height is now equal to 629.4 inches. So, ito na ngayon yung ating final answer. So, let's proceed to our last example. The tank shown is fabricated from 1/8 inch steel plate. Calculate the maximum longitudinal and circumferential stress caused by an internal pressure of 125 pounds per inches squared. So meron daw tayong thickness na 1/8 inch. So ito yung a uh, tank. Pinapa-compute dito yung circumferential or yung tangential stress and of course yung ating longitudinal stress. If the internal pressure is equal to 125 PSI. So, unahin na natin yung longitudinal. Okay. So, we will pass an exploratory section perpendicular sa longitudinal part. So, dito maglagay tayo ng uh, cutting plane here. Yeah. So, ano yung maging itsura ng cross-sectional area? So, it would be look like this one. Tama? On which, uh, meron tayong uh, forces coming from the internal pressure, F. Okay. So, drawing natin ito. We have F. And of course, yung ating force P coming from the thin wall pressure. So, yung force P natin, yan, naka-apply dito yan. Ayan. Dito. Dito sa part na to. And if we take the uh, resultant so to, force P. Resultant of force P. Okay. So, convert pala muna natin yung dimension ng ating tank. So, burahin ko na to. Isulat ko na lang yung ating resultant P. And then, ito yung ating force so, yung ating 2 feet, it is equivalent to uh, in inches. So, meron tayong 24. Meron tayong 24 inches. And then, dito sa part na to, we have 1.5 feet. Multiply lang natin siya ng 12 all over 1. So, we have 18. We have 18 inches. Okay. We know that pressure is equal to force all over area. And then yung ating pressure is equal to 125 PSI. So yung force natin, ito, force. So ano yung magiging area? It is this one. Ayan, di ba? So we have, so ganito yung shape nito. Ayan. So, meron tayong half circle dito, half circle din dito, and then rectangle. So, dito sa circle, half circle, half circle. So, we have one circle. Meron tayong pi all over 4. Diameter is 18 squared plus yung rectangle which is equal to 24 multiplied by ito, uh, 18. Therefore, F is equal to 85,808 
0.63 pounds. Okay? And if we take the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0, ito. So, we have F is equal to P. Tama? F is equal to P. In which yung ating F again is equal to 85,808.63. And then, yung ating P is equal to stress, longitudinal stress, multiplied by the area. Okay? So, we have 85,808.63. Ayan, L. Ano yung area ngayon ito? So, area for P is ito yun. This one. So, kung ilalatag natin yung area or circumference ng buong uh, tank na to, so, it is equal to dito tayo sa circle muna, sa circle. So, yung circumference is pi d, tama? Pi multiplied by the diameter. Diameter is 18 plus this one. This and this. So, we have 24 plus 24. Multiplied, of course, by the thickness, which is equal to 1 8. Therefore, the longitudinal stress is equal to 6,566 pounds per inches squared. So, this is our answer for the longitudinal stress. Okay. So, proceed na tayo sa tangential stress. Okay. So, gawa rin tayo ngayon or let, uh, uh, let us pass a uh, exploratory section at this part. Okay. Ayan. So, ang maging itsura yan ngayon is like this one. Okay. So, ngayon, ito yung uh, pressure. Ito yung pressure. So, we have a resultant F here. Tama? And then, we have our P. Okay. This is P and this is P. Okay. So, we know that we have our formula for pressure is equal to force all over area. So, ano pressure natin? We have 125 pounds per inches squared. Force. So, ano yung magiging area natin? So, this one. The diameter multiplied by length. I mean, this one, the diameter from the half circle to half circle and yung ating rectangle. So, this is equal to uh, 24 plus 18. So, meron tayong... Uh, 24 plus 18 multiplied by the length. So, our F is equal to 5,250L. So, meron na tayong equation number 1. And then, if we take the summation of forces, vertical is equal to 0. So, meron tayong F is equal to 2P. Diba? On which yung ating F is equal to 5,250L. And then, yung ating 2P, yung ating P, this one, is equal to the tangential stress multiplied by the area. So, i-define nga ngayon natin yung area. So, we have 5250L is equal to 2 tangential stress. So, the area is equal to the thickness, okay, multiplied by the length so we have 1 8 multiplied by the length so mga cancel out na yung length and we are left with the tangential stress therefore tangential stress is now equal to 21,000 pounds per 
inches squared. So this is the value for our tangential stress.